Okay, um, I'm going to try to pack 43 years into about 15-minute speech real quick. Not a speech, just kind of a thank you. And um, I did it in front of Linda this morning, and she laughed and critiqued me and, and said, you mumble, no one's going to understand you, talk too fast, take your time. <laughs> so, so I'm going to take my time, go through it, thank a lot of people. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming. It means a lot. I actually used to say, and who's in the room here, everybody knows it. A lot of our younger guys, we'd say, listen, comes to public speaking, you got to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And obviously right now I'm very uncomfortable, but because I spoke a lot, but it's not where um, I'm used to being the point guard where you're giving away the, the attention and the love and you're not really uh, focusing on you. So it is a little uncomfortable, but um, I appreciate it a lot. And I thank everybody for coming. Um, Starting out real quick, I'm going to thank Nick and Shiragi Patel. Where are they at? Thank them for making it happen. They hosted us. I want to thank my sister Paula. She did all the decorations. Fantastic job. Desserts, awesome. I want to thank Charlie and Grilly, my brother, for all the help and support and our Team Cone guys that were putting it together. I want to thank Gina Ray Groon for being a DJ and thank you for being a great friend. I want to thank the setup team last night. You guys were amazing, dude. I don't want to go through the Nates. I know Jason Rhymes with a bunch, but whoever helped last night setting up and the family helped and it went through like in an hour and a half. They set this room up like nothing. I don't know where Tommy Landon is. Tommy, Angel, Lewis, just fantastic guys. They're on the, they're on the cooking team. Thank you for that. And everybody that's helping today. Everybody that's here helping. Thank you so much. It would not be possible if it wasn't for you guys and girls, so thank you. Um, I'm going to go through a little, you know, I worked in the three-tier system basically. My career started in 79. I worked for Tac One Golf from 79 to 83. 83 to 88 was with the Miller Hall Center in town. Then Team and then Cone Distributing. I'll, I'll differentiate between Cone Distributing and Team Cone. And then back to North America, Prestige All Sales, and back to Team Cone. So I'll take you through that real quick. But just in case your name's not mentioned, I don't want anyone here to feel slighted. Everybody here is for a reason. Every single person in this room was invited. And I thank you for taking the time to come out, take the time out of your day to be here and be a part of this. So I thank you because at the end of the day, I got friends, family, business partners here. Um, everyone's here because you made a positive impact in my life, whether it's in my career or in, in life in general. So I'm really honored that you're here and I can't thank you enough and I mean that seriously. So if I miss mention your name, please don't take it that way. You're here because I wanted you to be here and because you mean a lot to me, okay? Um, start out, I'm taking my time. Um, it would only be appropriate to, um, you know, God's great, we know that. I look at this room and I'm thinking, wow, how blessed, how blessed, how blessed I am, and how blessed we all are. I'd like to ask Jim Anderson to come up and, and bless this event. It would mean a lot to me, Jim, if you come up and bless the event. I know we've already eaten all that stuff, I get it, but at the end of the day, we need to um, give God praise for being able to have what we have here in this room, which is a lot of love, a lot of caring. Um, I mean, this is lifetime friendships and there's people in this room I've known over 40 years and more so I'm gonna turn over to Jim and I'll get back to him thank you Jim all right, all right let's bow our heads dear Lord thank you for the gifts of family and friends we rarely get the chance to bring every everyone together so we do not take it for granted thank you for making the way possible for this celebration Father, we know how important family and friends are, but it is hard to find the time to gather in the busyness of life. This day of celebration is a blessing from you. Help us enjoy every moment, making memories that will last a lifetime. Bless everyone here and those who can be with us today. Please watch over everyone as they travel back home. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. I just had to bring a couple of sweat towels. Can you, can you imagine that? 
the bad part, I'm looking at these pictures over by the bar, in the bar, and I'm thinking, who's the bald guy? <laughs> and I told Linda, you married him? She goes, well, not exactly. <laughs> he actually had hair. So anyways, um, would you fall? Let me put this back on so I don't blind you. You look great, Stephen, either way. You yes. Thank you. Yep. Anyways, I want to kind of start out, I, the way I want to do it is, we, I've got a lot of mentors in this room, I want to thank the people that have been mentors to me in my life, and to be honest with you, you you're never going to have a, a, a long, successful career without having people that you can rely on and count on that will help you, that will guide you, that will tell you when you're screwing up, that will help you get better, that will challenge you, and i got a lot of people in the room today that I want to thank, and then I want to talk about um, the three-tier system our business partners that are here on the supplier side, I want to thank them, I want to thank the uh, business partners on the retailer side, and then we'll thank our teammates and we'll wrap it up. So I won't go long, I promise. But for the, as far as the mentors go, Dominic Kachi, he's passed away, he's not with us now. Um, Bob McGee, they uh, guided me early in my life. Harvey Bozeman, um, they were instrumental in uh, guiding me to stay in the beer business. Dominic, I worked for him during college. Bob hired me at La Prade. Harvey Bozeman encouraged me. I met with him. He was a legend in, in this town. He was a guy that you looked up to. And he said, you know, kids, you seem to have a good personality, good work ethic, people like you, and you need to stick in the beer business. You're never gonna get rich, but you can have a good living, make a good living. He raised his family. And he encouraged me to stay in the beer business and make it a career, and I thank uh, Harvey for that. And I thank Bob for hiring me and Dominic for giving me opportunity college. So John Hodges, I'm not sure if John made it. Him and Maggie were gonna try to make it. Um, John's another guy I'd like to recognize. I think a lot of the guys in this room that worked for John, he, he was another guy that you looked up to when you were 21 years old and you are trying to um, build a career. And uh, the way he carried himself and stuff meant a lot to me. Art Brennan, Art's a living legend over here. That's about 200 miles a week. The, uh, Art will tell you, he wasn't my first supervisor, but he actually was the first one that taught me anything. Because my first supervisor back then, he needed a CDL. So he put me in a truck, and two days later, I never drove a stick. I'm driving a, a double twin uh, Miller High Life uh, tractor trailer, which, and I look over at my supervisor my third day, and he's drinking beer at noon. I'm going, wow, this job's crazy. And he says, do you want one? I said, dude, I'm just trying to learn how to drive this truck. But, <laughs> and that's a true story, and Art knows it. So the first time Art wrote me, I said, Dart, you're going to start drinking about one? He said, what are you talking about? I go, the last guy did. So, Art, thank you. Thank you for being a great friend. Uh, Art's been here through thick and thin. You won't find a better better person or a better friend than Art. So thank you, Art. Charlie Manns, where's Charlie Manns? Everybody here knows Charlie Manns. So, Charlie, thank you. Uh, I met Charlie when I was 18 years old. He came in attack one golf. He was friends with Dominic. They used to go out and party a little bit. I thought, that's kind of a cool job. Three in the afternoon, they're out partying. I like that. So maybe I can make that a career. But actually, Charlie was, was instrumental. And in another guy that kind of made me think about the beer business as a career. Um, Paul Messina. Paul's here. Where you at, Paul? Raise your hand, please. Where's Paul? I'm so sorry. But anyway, so... Paul basically controlled Tampa. He didn't have Butter Miller as a, as a brand, but he, he, he dominated the market. And I always looked up him. He ended up being, uh, when I was with Bex, I called on Paul and I thought, you know what? He's a stand up guy, um, first class individual, and I really learned a lot from him. So thank you, Paul, wherever you're at. <laughs> Mike Schmidt, up here in front, my brother Mike, you know. Uh, met him in 1980, it seems like a long time ago, but we were we were trying to make money in college. Me and Linda were trying to make money. He hired us to be landscapers. Believe it or not, Linda was a better landscaper than I was, but we, we worked hard, we made five bucks an hour. We thought we were rich. We were real happy. Um, and that helped put us through school along with some other jobs we did. So Mike, but Mike's always been someone you can bounce things off and I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Leo Laughlin, where's Leo at? I know he's here and uh, he's not gonna wanna really raise his hand, but. So Leo came in from Wisconsin. Leo was uh, our national sales manager for Bex. Um, we quit working together in 2002. It's been 21 years and we still keep in contact. I have a lot of respect for him. 
the way he went around his business. So thank you, Leo, for coming and being a part of this. Tony Justiani, where's Tony G? Tony G is amazing. He uh, he hired me from Cone Distributing to start to work in back to North America. We spent 10 years traveling. We had a blast. It kind of changed my life. Uh, first time we ever went to New York City. If anyone ever been to New York City, it's kind of not my cup of tea. But anyways, we go there. I got $201 bills on me. Linda goes, here's $200. It's going to last you four days. Oh, man, I'm rich. I got 200 bucks. We got a sport coat and tie. We go to this NBC building. We go up to the top of it. I'm trying to make an impression on my new teammates. So there's seven beers. I look around. I said, Tony, let me, let me get the tab. He goes, okay. The guy leans over, $77. And I said, huh? <laughs> so Tony's pissing his pants laughing. And I walk up to the guy. I say, hey, you got a second? I go, yeah, I just bought one round. He goes, I know, $77. I go, <laughs> So me being a big shot, I gave him a hundred. I left, called Linda crying and said, we're done. I'm not leaving the house. I got a hundred bucks for four days. I'm done. I'm done. She goes, well, go to the ATM machine. I said, no, I'm done. And Tony said, later, he said, if I could see your face when you see the bill, I was only, I was like, you know, go Cal, you can $77. You're going to drink a lot. So thank you, Tony, for that. Uh, Frank Dunninger's here. Frank Dunninger, I'll tell you what, um, we merged with Bax and Labatt and it became InBev and he was one of the guys that really helped me along the way. I couldn't turn a computer on as you guys know, I still can't, but, but <laughs> so Frank would, we're doing presentations, he was a wizard at it. He'd make the things, bells and whistles. I'm, I'm like this, going through the paperwork. <laughs> uh, not as bad as Bill O'Malley, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Billy, you know what I'm saying, Bill? Hey, two, three, anyway, so long story short, Frank, Frank, Actually, was said to me one day, he says, hey, do you not do PowerPoint? I said, uh, I'm not really good with power tools. He said, no, dude, it's, it's PowerPoint. It's a thing you do up on the computer and stuff. I said, ah, yeah, yeah, why don't you do that for me, and I'll, and I'll read it. So thank you, Frank, for breaking me into the computer system and being a good mentor and a good friend throughout the years. Joey Lopez was Joey at. Joey has uh, been instrumental. He helped bring me to Cone in 1988. Joey also was instrumental in me coming back to Team Cone in 2009. Um, don't shoot baskets with him. Don't shoot baskets with Paul Messina. Those guys, are, they're deceiving. They don't miss. And, but Joey's been a good friend. I re really appreciate his friendship throughout the years. And Margaret and the whole family, so thank you. Um, just a few more. Wayne Johnson. Wayne Johnson's here was with Kathy. Uh, Wayne Johnson was on the leadership team. He was part of the guys that brought me... Um, convinced me that Team Cone was a different company, to come back to Team Cone. And, you know, Wayne saw that I was probably uh, a little phonetic. I like to do things fast and just get them done and don't really ask permission for shit. And uh, he kind of said, listen, you know, Steve, there's a sign on the wall that says, slow down the speed up. And I'm thinking, that's the dumbest sign I've ever seen. <laughs> I had no idea what it meant for like three years, and finally he explained it to me. I go, oh, yeah, that's what it means. Take your time, think things through, okay, collective wisdom. And I'm like, all right, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. That's cool. So, <laughs> Wayne, thank you for being a mentor. I appreciate you very much. Mike Castleman, where's Mike Castleman at? Mike's probably near the bar. Where's Mike at? I got Mike three cases of Miller Lite bottles. Is that enough, bro? Okay. Linda, you better get your one or two before he gets at it. But anyways, Mike dominated Tampa. I, I worked with him at Apex, learned a ton from him and his wife, beautiful wife, wife Rusty. Um, I'll never forget, I came home one night with him about three in the morning and we were intoxicated. He said, oh, I just stayed at my house. Where, and uh, she worked herself forward and she had to be up early in the morning. I said, dude, I'm not really comfortable going to your house at quarter to three. He goes, oh no, she's really cool. Wakes her up, she makes us a grilled cheese, makes us sandwiches and stuff. I'm like, man, this is great, I'm not married. I thought this was that way. I can't wait to get married and my wife does that for me. <laughs> and I'm still waiting for that to happen. <laughs> I walk in at quarter three, she's with Nick with me, and I go, I put him as a shield. Here, Nick. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, Nick's with me, yeah. Or Spike or whomever, that one's so short. So, and, but Mike, thank you. I always thought a lot of you looked up to you and. You are truly a living legend and you always will be, so. And uh, thank you. And last but not least, Charlie and Grelly. I've known Charlie since 1983. Charlie is more than, uh, he's, he's family, he's a brother. 
learned a lot from Charlie, and as a lot of people in this room have learned a lot from Charlie. So, um, you know, he's been instrumental in trying to help me be better, be a better leader, be a better person. And so I appreciate Charlie a lot, and I thank him for, for everything he's done to help uh, me along the way and help my family. So thank you. I've got some business partners here on the supplier side. They're all friends. It's kind of cool. You know, you, these guys, you work together, you, you really learn to like them. You get to know them better. I want to thank them for coming. I want to start with Mick Moraney. Where's Mick at from Diageo? Mick, thank you. Mick's an amazing dude. He, um, he's, he's from Dublin. He's the best tour guide you ever have. You want to go to Ireland, seriously? If you're willing to pay five grand for his trip, he'll get you. <laughs> He gives you a great trip. We went on a seven day pub crawl. I couldn't look at Guinness for months. <laughs> My liver was shot. I had a good time. Doug Howell's here as well with his wife from Diageo. Doug, thank you for coming. It means a lot. Appreciate you. Uh, Doug's a good singer. Him and Beard, you may not be a, a, a good sing off, those two guys. They can both sing, so you gotta make sure you don't challenge Doug to karaoke. He's a good singer. Tim Johnson from Heineken, Tim and Don are here. I want to thank Tim. Tim's been a friend for a long time. I knew Tim when he was at Champion Brands. He went to work for Heineken. He's a great rep. He's a good friend, good family man. Um, three sons, just a really good person. So thank you, Tim, for coming. Dave Roberts from Heineken, big Dave. You can't miss him. He's about 6'10", maybe 6'8", you know, whatever. He's, he's bigger than me, a lot better than me. Where are you at, Dave? Oh, don't stand up. You're good. I can see you sitting down. <laughs> Anyways, Dave's here from Heineken. We went to Amsterdam with him, we had a blast. We won't get into the Amsterdam trip because my wife's here, but I will tell you one thing, we had a lot of fun, drank a lot of beer, and uh, that guy's got a hollow leg, I swear to God. I thought Billy had a hollow leg, but I mean, they got, you get these guys drinking, you're done. That's our fourth keg. Uh, also, Pat Healy's here from Miller Coors. Pat's a good friend. He's done a great job and a great career. And I want to thank Pat for coming. Where's Pat at? I know you're here somewhere, Pat. Where you at? Okay, thank you for coming. I appreciate it, man. Good luck to your golf game tomorrow. Um, like I said, Pat's the only guy at Miller Coors that his numbers 30 years in a row. That's pretty impressive. Next up is Terry Morrison. Terry Morrison is, um, he's here, he's up front. You gotta love Terry. And uh, I would tell a story, but I'm not going to get into it too much. But me and Terry got lit one night. Imagine that. We got home late. And I had made this home brew with Joel Plummer. We made this home brew. It was 11% Sam M. Sherry wheat. And I spilled it all over the kitchen. Linda was furious. It smelled. It stunk. So I told Terry, we're already looped. What do you do when you get, you're drunk? You go home and drink more, right? Said, not really. <laughs> we start drinking. He goes, hey, you got a hot tub. I said, yeah, man. Here, put my bathing suit on. You get in the hot tub. I'll be right out. Well, it's not good to get in a 110 degree hot tub when you're loaded and then you're drinking crap beer. So next thing you know, Linda walks out and she goes, who do you have home with you? I said, well, Terry Morrison. She goes, oh, where's he at? I said, well, he's in the hot tub. She walks out, his nose is just almost under. I mean, he's going down for the count, I'm swearing to God. So she grabs him, she pulls him out. So what the hell is he doing in the hot tub? I don't know. He's in the hot tub, he's on the ground. I won't get into the rest of it. When he calls me up, he goes, listen, you got a snorkel in case we go hot tub in the night? I go, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good, brother. And uh, the last one's Bill Grotto. Bill couldn't be here. If you guys know it, Twisted T. Bill's the guy on the commercials, the ball guy. We love him. He's got Tank, his little dog, with him, and he sends his regards. So thank you guys very much for the Spire side for coming. <laughs> this next group is, is amazing. This next group is 40 years plus. It's, a, it's my retail partners, our retail partners, and everybody in this room, a lot of you know them already, but in the 80s, the independent grocery stores dominated the beer business. It wasn't Publix, it wasn't Winn-Dixie, it wasn't um, the chain stores. It was really independent. So you got an independent, you're guaranteed 1,000, 500 case displays. It was really cool. So I want to thank Kim Lloyd. Where's Kim Lloyd at? Kim Lloyd came in here. Russell's fighting food. First thousand case display I ever sold. I'll never forget. I came home and told Linda, I sold a thousand case display. She said, oh, that's good. I said, and the guy's going to make four cents a case. And she goes, wow, that doesn't seem like a very good return on his investment. I said, I know it's terrible. <laughs> but I took him to lunch. And I want to honor Doug Johnson. Doug Johnson's here with his beautiful wife. 
he worked at Hudson Foods and Food Ranch, and Doug, you had to chase him down the aisle to get his attention. He'd, he'd run, he'd see me coming, he goes, oh, shit, shit. Hey, Doug, you got a minute? No, not really. I don't need anything from you. I said, listen, you're going to make five cents a case instead of four this week, because I'll give you a penny back out of my wallet. So he was very good. They were great guys to work with. He had a lot of fun. Dennis DeVoe, Dennis is here from Hudson's and Omasassa. Me and Paul used to go over there and just terrorize him. He'd come in, he said, don't touch my cooler, it's my cooler. And we're like, is it really? Whose cooler is it? Huh? You want to arm wrestle? And I was like, okay, do what you want. You and Charlie reset it. We would reset his cooler, take a bunch of space, leave, and he's like, hope they don't come back for a week. <laughs> and these were all in the 1980s, early 80s. These guys were a big part of our lives, so thank you. And as, I'm going to have a question for you. The next guy up is Steve Giza, Steve and Linda Giza, and uh, they ran Dooley's. If you haven't heard of Dooley's, who misses Dooley's? I do. Wow. Dooley's was the original Ocala Cheers. You went in there and everybody knew everybody, especially Charlie and Bud, Bud Brody and Charlie, because they knew how to come in the front door, the back door, the side door, in the window. It was, it was amazing. They'd call you up, Bud called you up and said, me and Charlie at Dooley's, it's like quarter to two. No, really, you are? And Linda goes, who's calling? I go, oh, no, it's okay. I get up, slide out, where are you going? I said, I got to run down the store for a minute. At two o'clock in the morning? Who's drunk? Nobody's drunk. They've been overserved. It's not their fault. Mickey's pouring heavy drinks. I gotta blame Mickey. She's pouring heavy drinks. And I don't want those guys driving. She's well, you should be driving either. You've had a dozen before you went to bed. I said, I know, but I've been in bed for a half hour. I should be in pretty good shape. And then we moved to the 90s, and we uh, I meet Mark Barnett. And Mark Barnett is gonna be one of the speakers tonight, one of the first speakers. And we love Mark and Cindy and his family. Um, Andrew's here with his girlfriend. But Gator Beverage. And Gator Beverage is the only place in the world with 2,500 square feet that they, you can put 5,000 pounds of shit in there. So I sold Mark so much stuff that he didn't need. I was almost embarrassed. Like, he's like, I don't really think that'll sell. I said, I don't either. But I need you to take 500. He's like, wow, that's really good, Steve. I like you a lot. But, and then next after Mark came up was the Indian Nation. In Indian Nation, we love you guys. It came up in the 1990s. We got Nick Patel from A to Z and Danellen. Coach is here. Jimmy and Jacob, where you at? Coach Jimmy and Jacob, where you at? Raise your hand. I can't see you. You're back there. Okay. And their wives are here. From Side Quick Stop. You know, Mike from Extra Beverage, from on and Bip and Extra Food. You guys were, were a great bunch to work with. They're good, good friends, good family. Tom Denny and his wife are here from Albertsons. Tom, where you at, brother? Thank you. Thank you and your wife for coming up from Orlando. Again, he was a buyer for Albertsons. We ended up being friends. We stayed friends. Really good guy. Appreciate him. Al Ortega from a &O Discount Beverages here. Thank you, Al, for everything you've done for us. Mickey Groon, living legend. Mixed 19 Toll Pub. Thank you very much. Chris Abbott, where's Chris at? Chris is here from Longhorns, his wife and daughter. Thank you, Chris. Had a lot of fun, brother. We're still gonna have fun. He gave up Longhorns and said, I'm gonna go in and teach you. I don't blame you, right? And last but not least is Basil Green. Basil's here with Karen and Mike from Seagrass Omasassa. Best view on the river. Love these guys. Basil's a proud Marine. Mike and Karen are excellent, excellent friends of us. They're supporters of uh, Team Cone and, and actually ended up being really good friends. Charlie and I took him to a, a Buccaneers game and Charlie bought him a bag of chips. I swore to God it was a small bag and he's like, that's all they got. And I said, Charlie, they're retailers. I go, no, you're going to get it. I don't have cash on me. So we ended up giving a bag of chips to split. It was really embarrassing. I'm like, and then we find out later they're multimillionaires. I'm like, holy shit. We really screwed this one up, Charlie. He goes, what do you mean we? You bought the bag. So anyways, that's it for the retailers. Um, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much for all the retailers that are here. It wouldn't be the same without you. We had a great time. I appreciate everything you guys did for, for me, for Cone Distributing, uh, for Bex, all those years. You guys are the ones that help make it happen. If you're not buying our product, we're, we're in trouble. So um, next up, we'll talk about teammates. We've got a lot of great teammates in here. Everybody here is a teammate one way or the other. 
I started in 79 and 80 to 83 at Tackle and Golf. Bill House, where's Bill at? You're filming. So Bill's been a lifetime friend. We worked together at a little golf station. It used to be the full service one and you guys pulled up. And if you're our age and you asked us to air up your tires and check your oil, guess what? I'm blowing your tires up to 70 and you're gonna, you're gonna need a quarter oil. If you're older, I felt bad for you, but if you're younger and you're you know, making fun of us because we're working at a golf station, I'm like, yeah, I'll pay them back, that's cool. And then 83 to 88 was a little Pratt distributing, also Apex, we got some guys here from the, that era, which were kind enough to come and spend you know, 35 years. Art Brennan, Keith Peterson, is Keith here? Thank you, Pete, my man, thank you, Pete. Thank you for driving back from the mountains yesterday, brother, I appreciate you. Mark Burdett. Sam Martsoff, Mark Golf, Dennis Mears, where's Dennis at? Dennis, all right, brother. Gary Branham, Mike Castleman, Doug Sleep, all part of the La Pratt Apex days, so thank you for being here. We switched from Apex to Cone Distributing. Notice it's not Team Cone, it's Cone Distributing. And, you know, we got Joey Lopez, you got Charlie Manns, Rob Weber, Clarence, Julia, Spike, Mike Carl, where's Mike at? Thank you, Mike, for doing it, for being here. It means a lot. Steve Huddle, thank you for being here. Sue McNeil, Craig Strigo, John Coburn the third, John Coburn the fourth, John Coburn Jr. <laughs> they were they were with Team Cone a long time. Appreciate you guys. Bobby Tucker, Darren Stanley, Phil Wolford, Denny Meadows, where's the smooth man at? D, appreciate you. Kenny C. Where's the legend Bud Browning? I know Bud's here. Where's Bud? His beautiful daughter. You here? There you go, Bud. I like it. Mark Bozeman. Love him. Eric Bozeman with their, with their brides. Thank you. Steve Verhag. Charlie Fagan. Jeff Buckland, who started on the truck. Where's Jeff at? He's now the vice president of sales. Congratulations. Super, super proud of you. Jeff Hess started on a truck. Where's Jeff at? He's vice president of operations. Super proud of him. Thank you. Then we moved to Bex, North America. I got a few fit friends from Bex that are here. Worked from Bex for 10 years, 96 to 2006. Tony G, Leo, Mark Golf. Where's AJ at? AJ Schiante. Where's AJ? You're around here somewhere, there you go. Rod Hamus, where's Rod? Rock and Rod Hamus. Arnell Spencer, Charlie Manns, Frank Dunninger. Thank you guys for coming to represent Bex, North America and InBev, thank you. Prestige Auto Sales, spent two and a half years there. Chris Spears is here, he's taking the pictures. Chris is my first friend in Florida. Appreciate you, bro, I love you, thank you. Cliff and Lynn are here, they're back there somewhere. Cliff Spears, Lynn Spears, thank you. Chrissy and Joe from Prestige Auto Sales, thank you. Tammy Carter, all really good people that made it fun to go to work. And everybody I've mentioned has made it fun to go to work and enjoyable. And last but not least, Team Cone. Team Cone to me is, it started in 2009 and that was 2005. But I'd like to ask you guys, anybody that has worked at Team Cone from 2009 to now, please stand up, because I'm not gonna be able to name everybody. I want to stand up and thank you though. If you've been with Team Cone from 2009, what a group, what a group. I can't tell you guys, how much you mean to me. Um, I, I couldn't work for a better group of people. I couldn't work for a better bunch of people. JJ's the best HR guy I've ever met. I love him, I love all these guys. Um, at the end of the day, you guys made it so enjoyable to go to work. 99% of the time I went to work, I really looked forward to going to work. I mean, it's, that you can't beat that. I mean, that's, and it was amazing. And again, it was all because of the people in this room. It, it made it fun to go to work. I love seeing it. I look forward to seeing you. Um, I just felt like we had a genuine connection, and I think everybody here knew that I cared deeply about you, and you guys cared uh, about me as well. So thank you for that. Um, Doug Cohen couldn't be here today. I understand that, but I would say this: I want to thank him for for allowing me to lead. He gave me the the ability, or gave me the opportunity to to uh, to lead people, and I love leading people. I love uh, helping people. You know, caring about people. So. I want to thank him for that. I want to thank his family. They're a great family. Um, if you're working for Team Cone, I'll tell you you're on the right team. They got a great leadership team right now with everything they've got in place. 
I've got a lot of confidence in, uh, in Brian Smith and Jeff Hess and Jeff Bucklin and Harry White, Charlie and Grilly. I, you know, you've got a great team. Um, you guys just keep, keep, keep going in the right direction. Keep the company going the way it's going. Take care of the people. If you take care of the people, they'll take care of you. And keep the culture strong. I'm almost done, I promise you. I got to wrap this up with family because there's nothing more important than family. Take a beer break. Cheers. If I start crying, turn the phones off, please. I'm good. Anyways, family. I've got family here. I appreciate their up front. Thank them. I'm going to get through this. You can do it. Right, I'm good. I'm good. I got it. I promise I went dry. I'm doing all right. So, anyways, I want to thank Paula Morris. Thank you very much. For that. Gloria and Dwight. Thank you so much. Couldn't have better sisters. Unbelievable support. I mean, two greatest girls in the world. I want to thank Bonnie, my sister Bonnie, Michael, her son, Darby and Cassidy, my nieces, are here, Princess and Angel. I want to thank Candace and Billy. Love you guys. Love them to death. Joe and Dawn are here. Thank you guys for coming. Ben and Denise came from Alabama. We've had a blast, haven't we, cuz? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Don't challenge Ben to a drinking contest. He hits those Voodoo IP Imperials. Like their Miller Lights, I love it. Greg and Lisa. Greg and Lisa came from Atlanta. My nephew, six months apart. He's really like a brother. I thank you and Lisa for coming. It means a lot, so thank you so very, very, very much. And uh, I'm good. My favorite savior, right, Pa? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So, let's talk about Linda. Back saying, Don't be a baby, quit crying, you loser. <laughs> My dad was in Marine Corps, he didn't cry. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, you know, been with her 45 years. We've been through everything, thick and thin. She's been through the whole career thing. And at the end of the day, you know, part of the reason I'm able to retire is because we made a choice to live simple and to live within our means. Um, we agreed when we were in our 20s to live on one paycheck use the other paycheck to, for emergency fund and to um, put away for retirement, put away for savings. So she's always kept me humble. I, I'm the one who wanted to lake house. I'm the one who wanted to go to the mountains. I'm the one who wanted to buy all these things. You know, we can afford it, we can afford it, we can afford it. And she's a dream crusher. She's oh, no, no. who's gonna clean that house? Who's gonna do this? So, and then after, uh, I wanted to live in this real fancy neighborhood in Ocala, it was $500,000, and, and uh, I took her there, and I'm like, what do you think? What do you think about this house? And I'm all excited. We get in the car, and we're driving. She goes, did something hit you in the head? <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? This is, uh, this is for you. It's a 5,000 square foot house, a pool, screened in, looks great. She goes, who's cleaning it? I said, you. <laughs> she goes, honey. We don't, we don't have a mortgage. Why would I want a mortgage? I said, well, we can afford it. I'm making good money. I'm with Bex here working. So what if you lose your job with Bex? I said, how long lose my job with Bex? They like me. <laughs> a year later, I ain't working. We, we, we drive by the, the subdivision, and she goes, wow, you want to go by that really nice house that you're going to have a $3,000 mortgage for? And I go, yeah, no, we're good. I'm, I mean, thanks, thanks for Do you want to say I was right? I go, no, you weren't right, but, you know. So I have to thank her for keeping me grounded and to and really truly um, being, a, being a true wife, partner, uh, friend, lover. She just 
been amazing and she's she's really kept things simple. So when I want to complicate things, she's really good about saying, let's keep things simple. You know, let's not go into debt because if you're having a bad day at work and you don't like your job, I want you to have the ability to quit. And that way you can make, um, I, I think one of the things that, that really helps is when you're in a position of leading people, you can be yourself and be honest and truthful and you can push back on power when you know that if it's something that you don't want to do and it's against your core values, you're not going to do it. And you know, when you walk home and you quit a job or you leave a career or whatever, that person that you're married to is saying, that's cool, we're good, I got gotcha. you. And uh, you know, when she was teaching school and she decided to leave uh, teaching, you know, it was like we had always agreed on that. You know, when, when it became not fun anymore, then you know, you leave. So I've been a great 43 years. I appreciate everybody here more than you know. I can't thank you enough. I'm sorry I rambled on. I got through it as best I could. I am telling you that um, one of the harder things I've ever had to do, but I really appreciate everybody. I can't thank you enough. I'm gonna ask um, Mark Barnett to come up. We only have a few speakers. I told him two minutes apiece. Charlie Manns told me, and you know, I love Charlie. I said, Charlie, what are you gonna say? He said, I'm gonna introduce myself. You know, Charlie, C-H-A-R-L-I-E. <laughs> I said, no, Charlie, you're not. You're gonna get through this shit quickly. So I'm gonna ask Mark Barnett to come up and uh, say a few words and bust my balls, which he will, by the way, he's very good at busting my balls. And so thank you very much. I, I love you guys, I appreciate you, thank you.